uh, record. Oh, you are. Okay. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Uh, gonna say happy, happy Mother's Day to to Joy also because she's she's our dog mom. So yeah, it's Mother's Day today, and we're Joy and I are out for a ride together. Um, she uh, finished her training plan last week, and. Uh, she's starting a new one this week, which is similar to the one that I'm following. Uh, so we, we're back on the endurance rides on the weekend together. And uh, this week is just going to be um, about a two-hour ride. We're just going to go down by Candlewood Lake Road and back. And I think there's one or two climbs that we might uh, do depending on or that we're definitely going to do a couple of climbs, but uh, depending on how our legs are feeling, we'll determine uh, how hard we go on those. If uh, Joy was talking about possibly going for a QOM on one of them, if she's feeling up to it. Uh, but why doesn't uh, Joy? Do you want to give us your uh, your thoughts on uh, just? finishing up your training plan and, you know, now being, uh, starting this new training plan. just my hair is all over my face and the little strands are getting into my eye so uh, anyway uh, I did an FTP test and I did two on Saturday because I failed miserably on it and unfortunately I still didn't do as well as I'd hoped for and so I wanted to go and try again the following day uh, Jason did a four hour ride. I actually was supposed to do the four and a half hour ride with him. Unfortunately, um, that was kind of in my head all night. And so the next day I said to him that I'm just going to go ahead and do the ramp test uh, and he can go ahead and do his ride. Long story short, I did it again. And I know on a ramp test, you're not supposed to get off the saddle. But, you know, I was thinking the philosophy behind it. I do get off the saddle when I'm training to get the power out. And so I didn't understand why I wouldn't get off the saddle doing the ramp test to get the power out. Uh, it, it took a while to get used to, um, but I finally uh, got it. And now my new FTP is 212 watts. Uh, so that bumps my zones up and that feels a little bit more realistic to what I was doing before. Um, before I felt like it was manageable, it was doable, but I wanted, I felt like I needed a little bit more of a push. And so I think the new zones will definitely um, give me that push. So this coming week I do my, uh, I start the Fondo plan, uh, the Century Ride slash Fondo plan. And so I'll be uh, getting back to training again. Uh, I'm stopped here because I'm also gonna take off. I'm, I, I'm overdressed. I guess so I'm going to take off a few layers because now I'm starting to get warm. Also I wanted to mention that I have uh, a bag here that I'm carrying with me and this is the drone so hopefully I'll get some drone shots. Yes I got my drone back. Yeah, it's turning out to be a pretty nice day here. Um, starting to warm up and uh, have a little uh, niggle in my my left hamstring and glute and uh, I think I pulled something initially from doing some strength training on Friday and then I, I went running uh, J both Joy and I went running yesterday and uh, not a long run or anything but I think I might have aggravated it further by doing that so um, I haven't noticed the pain while I'm riding, 
Um, so hopefully, um, hopefully I can get through this ride okay. Oh, do you want to just uh, you want to just go for the QOM? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to go for the QOM. I think you should go for it. Are we clear in the rear? We're clear in the rear. We just got the QLM on Carmen Hill number one segment. Yeah, I actually um, didn't tell you guys I was gonna film it and I was gonna, I brought the drone for it, but I wasn't sure um, if the trees had leaves on them because that's when the drone can actually properly avoid um, the trees. But I was nervous because it was also a lot of traffic. So I just decided to just, um, record it using the action camera, but I am pretty pleased with it. I actually, I was surprised. I don't think the woman who got it before was going too hard on it. Um, I looked at her, uh, her stats and she did 170 watts for eight or so minutes or seven or so minutes. And I thought, oh, I could do, I could definitely do 100, at least 190, 200 watts. And so that's what I was shooting for is <clears throat> to do 190, at least 190 watts. Um, and the good th thing about it was that I actually big, big rigged some of the segments because it wasn't too steep. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. You know, in other words, beast mode.
we're just uh, about wrapping up our, our ride here, uh, getting close to home now. Uh, Joy recently learned how to ride with no hands, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, still, uh, still working on my, my balance and being, uh, being able to ride with one hand. So once I master that, then maybe I'll try the no hands thing. I'll stop up there. Yeah, this was a, this was a nice, uh, short-ish ride and uh, great to have Joy back on the road with me. All right, so I just checked my stats for that climb. So today was uh, just, I don't know if Jason mentioned, but total and complete noodle fest for me. Uh, I just couldn't make up my mind of what exactly I wanted to do today. And uh, I wanted to t take out the drone for a couple of shots just to like get some practice using it. And then, the roads were so busy and, um, you know, I just couldn't make up my mind. And so I went for, I had in my mind that I wanted to get the QOM and I always wanted to try that climb, uh, the, that North, I'm sorry, that's not the North mountain climb, the Carmen Hill number one climb. And it actually was a fun climb. It wasn't too steep. Um, there were a couple of parts where I was able to big ring it and, uh, and that's always a, uh, kind of a little like. I guess accomplishment for me is being able to big ring stuff on the climb. So um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I got it at by 15 seconds. So my time for that climb was six minutes and 45. I actually wanted to do the longer part of the climb, but I missed the turn. But there's the sh shorter segment, which just is like I think a 0 0.8 or 0 0.2, uh, 0.2 or 0.1 miles shorter than the longer climb. So anyway. Um, my stats for that, I averaged 212 watts, which is my FTP at six minutes and 45 seconds, which is awesome. And uh, I am, and I actually, once we got done with that climb, I actually didn't realize um, the segment stopped. And then I didn't realize that uh, I, I missed that segment. The, the, I missed the other, the left turn for the road. And I didn't think of it. And, uh, I quick I recovered fairly quickly afterwards also so I don't know I'm just uh pretty pleased with that little effort yeah that was that was a good ride um pretty short one a little under two hours but it was it was really nice to have joy back out there and have some someone to talk to and have some company because it it was starting to get kind of lonely on those solo rides um yeah I didn't really I didn't really do too much today um I, uh, I had to work pretty hard to, to keep up with Joy on Carmen Hill number one. I was trying to record her and uh, stay on her wheel. So that was, that was like my one kind of fun effort of the day. Uh, otherwise, it was a pretty easy ride. Um, I did actually, um, I guess the one other thing that I, that I did well on was um, I did PR my, my max power today. Uh, there's this one little hill on our way out toward Candlewood Lake Road that I, I love to um, to kind of sprint on that hill. Um, so pretty much every ride that we take on that road, I, I do a little sprint on that hill. And um, yeah, I just Mac got my uh, new PR on my max power on, on that hill. Um, don't laugh when I say this, but my PR is 724 watts. Uh, this is the first time that I've hit 700 watts ever, um, so it's great for me. I know for for most people that's still pretty, you know, um, nothing to you know to to be thrilled about. Uh, it's not crazy power by any means, um, but I'm definitely sprinting is probably my weakest area uh, in cycling. So at least I'm trending in the right direction because it took me a long time just to to get over 600 watts and then recently the the progress has been a little bit faster on uh, as far as being able to to uh, increase my max power so that was a little five second highlight of my ride also 
um, yeah, so it's a, a good ride and uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms and remember to enjoy the ride.